hi, hi, and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. Hey, today we're gonna learn techniques that will definitely make your track sound more professional. All these tricks are very uh, customizable, easy to apply for all the genres, all the genres, and all the doors. Before we go to the tutorial, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can see more stuff like this because you wanna be here. Okay, let's go into it now. Okay, so tip number one is tell a story. Narrative composition is a thing for films and movies. And what that means is that we're taking the audience from one place to another. We're determining how they feel, how they feel in a certain area of the film. And that is the same thing we can do with popular music, whatever type of music it is. It's not lyrical story. It's a melodical story. It's a harmonic story. And what, how you can do that is a couple things. Using chords. Chord progression is massive. Every single chord in the world has emotional vibe to it. Okay, we start with a little bit more like suspense. Chorus could be more resolution. So you feel like that you want to make the audience feel like relieved. If you do not know music theory and you're not sure how to change it up, there is a very brilliant tool for this. So Scalar 2, we can create chord progressions, melodies with this tool, but also it can suggest stuff for us when we don't know something. Another thing is melody, obviously. So one thing is bringing melody in and melody out. Uh, on the actual intro, I have the vocal and it's chopped up to take us that kind of rhythmic boom, 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 boom. That type of rhythmic is something that takes you, pulls forward. And I chopped up the vocal into that rhythm. So it's kind of like, it's like a bridge. It's a fill, it's a movement, a transition. Da -da. Okay, then we are in the verse and in the verse, another thing to give us storytelling is groove. Absolutely. What we want to really avoid to be is static. Something that is uh, 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 non-human. We want to feel the groove and feel that it's taking us forward. Something that makes you feel like... Mm. You know, something that you almost like physically want to go forward with. So for me, it's coming here. It's the uh, bass first, then a little uh, drum thing, creating tension. So we have. So what we have with the groove is here. First, we have a kick that goes every single uh, beat. Bum, 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 bum. Then the second section goes bum, 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 bum. And then da, 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 da. Then we have emptiness. And emptiness, again, is part of a groove to kind of emphasis when the groove comes back. It emphasizes everything that comes back. So silence is really important as well. Again, storytelling from one place to another. And then we have tension. So this type of rhythm obviously brings tension as well. But we have also other ways to create tension. So on the whoosh section here, we have a reverse symbol that I have extended very long. So it goes like all the way from the beginning of the verse to the end of the verse. It's just to bring that movement and tension to the chapter. And we move forward to the other. We have a rise like that. Another way is we have on the wavetable track, we have an uh, auto filter. And if I cl click the frequency, you can see I have automated the, um, the, the, the frequency control of the synthesizer. So when we come here, ah. it starts moving from the beginning. Ah. Brings it in and the 
higher frequencies coming in to the I drop. Don't know why we try. So again, something like auto filter can add the movement again, which is part of the storytelling that we have. We introduce new elements into it. So it's not like here's all the sounds, here we go, but it's more like, okay, there's one sound that comes in and another sound comes in and, you know, it's, you need to paint a picture. Okay, less is more. So, as you can see here, in this song, there's not many instruments going on. That is good. I always recommend that to be able to go something professional, actually less is more. If you want things to sound professional, less is more. And why is that? It's because if you fill your track with so much stuff that doesn't complement each other, it's so much issues are gonna happen. There's gonna be masking, frequency masking. There's not gonna be space in the stereo spectrum. So in the mixing process, everything's gonna be hell to try to separate. And yeah, that's not good. It, you're going to also get a creative confusion there. People don't really know what's happening. So you want to keep, keep it, the composition and the mix as clear as possible so people know what's happening. So what you should do is layer and stack. I already made a whole video about layering and stacking here. So you can go on there and learn a little bit more about it and how to actually do it to make it more interesting. I don't add new instruments, but I, I make the ones that I already have as good as possible. Dynamics. Keep the dynamics. Don't start compressing shitload in production process, especially if you're not really sure what the compression does. One of the biggest mistakes I did when I started up was that I compressed everything without fully knowing what it does, which meant that I didn't have any dynamics left on my track. And dynamics is the one that actually really resonates with people. envelope so now it sounds quite bam, bam, it sounds very mechanical so we want to work on the envelope so the release I want to have it a lot longer and then attack something like this you know it's much more human to have a slower attack already much more interesting and then decay down It's a very fine balance where it's perfect. So you just need to go with it and just play with, usually envelopes are gonna take a while to really master. Already, how much cooler is that? So we have the expression editors here in Able to Live 11. So if we go also here on uh, the, expression area, the tab. We also have slide, pressure, velocity, and release velocity. So there's plenty to work with. So don't overlook these, especially when you are working with MIDI. Again, instead of just adding more stuff, maybe you just need to go through your MIDI and make sure that everything is expressive aspects. So velocity, you know, you can take the pen tool, you can just customize it, like draw them a little bit like that. Maybe example, some of the first notes, I want to be higher velocity. Mm -hmm. 
So now there's a much bigger dynamic between the quiet nose and the big, uh, the higher nose. So already a lot more interesting, a lot more quality out there. Hey, please subscribe. Please hit the bell icon and come again. Subscribe. And also, would you like to see more of these type of videos? Is there a problem area in music production that you're not really sure and you'd like to see tips for? If you do, then please comment them down below and I will check what I can do. Also, if you would like to see more similar type of videos than these, then there is a link for those down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, please hit the bell icon and see you all soon. Love ya. Bye.